Hello members, uh, here, Shannon here, just gonna give you a little bit of an update. Um, the latest and greatest on the consolidation with the Minneapolis Regional Chamber. Uh, on September 15th, uh, we had members that joined us on the membership call to vote on uh, merging with the Minneapolis Regional Chamber. I'm happy to say that uh, those members that were on the call, uh, 66 members, uh, all voted unanimously in favor of following the board of directors recommendation along with the joint transition team to merge the two organizations together. Uh, I will tell you, I know that this decision was not made lightly, uh, but I also am very confident that this is the path forward. We are very excited about the opportunities that this will bring for all of you as members. So I just want to talk a few minutes about what the transition uh, looks like and what a tremendous opportunity and responsibility that you all have as members in being part of this um, kind of this transformation transition plan. So now uh, uh, the staff is um, looking at the six strategic initiatives. So the joint transition team created six strategic initiatives for us to work on uh, as a combined organization. These were based upon the strategic plans of both organizations with our members' interests um, front and center. So I'm gonna take a moment to tell you about all six initiatives, and then just remember, I'm highly encouraging you to get involved in one of these task forces that's gonna shape the future of this work. So first and foremost, there's an advocacy and public policy task force. This task force will be responsible for helping us shape the future direction of the public policy and advocacy ventures of the organization. That's everything from policy development to the work that we are doing on critical issues to our issues and insights program uh, and relationships with elected officials. The second strategic initiative is the Talent and Workforce Initiative. Another big issue for many of our businesses around how do we um, have a strong talent pipeline for the future. And so this group will work on all of our relationships with future talent pipeline development, immediate talent pipeline development, and how we can interact and engage um, business leaders, education, government, uh, job seekers all together. Super excited about that one. Um, so look at, let's see if you're interested in that piece. The third strategic initiative is economic and community development. These are all of our relationships with our local communities. So our, our relationships with our school districts and our cities, our business advisory councils or our, our um, business councils that we already have going. How do we elevate that work? How do we leverage that work and expand it, scale it throughout our entire footprint? The fourth uh, strategic initiative is on member services and small business support. So this one couldn't be more critical uh, to the organization. This is all about how are we gonna better serve our members? What do you as members wanna see from the chamber as it relates to direct, tactical, practical member services? Everything from our events and our networking to the program aspects of the work that we are doing to the full connectivity of member to member engagement. So that's going to be another important one that we would love to have you join us. The fifth strategic initiative is all around partnerships and affiliates. We have a tremendous focus on expanding our partnerships as an organization. So that can mean what, are, what do partnerships look like with other nonprofits, chambers of commerce, uh, private sector leaders, uh, initiatives that are important to the region. So if partnership and collaboration are part of your core values, this would be a great place for you to lean in. The final um, strategic initiative is uh, organizational excellence. As with any good organization, we want to look at continual improvement and how can we be a better organization serving our members, serving the community. So in general, those are the six strategic initiatives. You can find those on our website as well. And those task forces are going to start to be populated here within the next couple weeks. So if you are interested in serving on uh, one of the task forces, I would encourage you to email Victoria. So just victoria at twinwest.com and we will be able to get you grouped into the right task force to get busy and get to work. So 
I'll close out by just saying this is a really exciting time for us. I know that so many of us are exhausted looking at reinvention, pivoting, um, all of these things that, that we're looking at from an economic recovery standpoint. Um, but we're also really excited for the path forward. And so please take the time, get involved, um, get engaged with us. If you have any questions or concerns, email me directly, shannon at twinwest.com. Again, we're in the transformation, so we will have new email addresses shortly. But until then, we hope to see you and help. please help us shape the future of the new Minneapolis Regional Chamber. Thank you.